Welcome back to RL Craft. The netherwort is not growing, and I'm hoping that's just because it's winter. We'll find that out eventually. I really hope I don't need to have this be in the nether, but from what I've looked up, it doesn't sound like that's a thing. So, presumably it's just because it's really cold. I'm just, just nothing grows in winter. Who knows? Anyways. We can't go outside. Because it's winter. We have, we have similar problems that the netherwort is having. So. Single chicken. We. We're gonna get some more diamonds, I guess. Because, why not? It, it's something to do. We don't have very many left. Diamonds are useful for many things. So let's make sure we have the right pickaxes with us. Here's the fortune three. I really only care about fortune for diamonds. I literally do not need more redstone, lapis, or coal. That is a non-issue right now. We might want more lit torches, but we got the sticks for it. We got the birch, we got the wool. Got the planks. Yeah, we got what we need. So let's go mining. We had a pretty decent speed to collect diamonds the last time we were down here. So, maybe we can get lucky again. This is the regular pickaxe. Yep. Diamonds everywhere, too. Acceptable. It's not the diamonds everywhere three pickaxe, but it's okay. And this also doubles as a good source of experience. So we can get a few more enchantments going. It's always a plus. If we can actually find anything. Yeah, there's some coal. That's experience and stuff. And also might have some diamonds in it. And it might have a Geonoc in it. He's dead now. So that's fine. Can, can anybody say free nether quartz? Maybe? No? This one dropped andesite? Ah, uh, that's fine too. Whatever. Not a big deal. Not that I actually need nether quartz for anything, so. I'm not complaining. Oh, look. It's. When the torches go out, it just becomes really, really freaky. Don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Don't need any small things running into my tunnels either, so. At least we're getting a whole bunch of rocks. That's good. Come on. Experience. And diamonds. That's literally the two things we're looking for. I wonder if late winter is warmer than midwinter. Okay, iron. And as a bonus, this pickaxe doesn't smelt the iron. So we're going to get the smelting experience for it. And let us downwards to some coal. Something's happening. Everything's falling apart. Maybe. I'm not going to worry about it. And we got some gold, too. Also good. And we got three diamonds. Also, 
sorts of stuff in that vein. There's iron to coal to diamonds. Very nice. Super fun. It's just a smidge inconvenient. Right there. Stone. You're doing ruining my torches. Multi Geonox. Don't know if we've seen that one before. How fun! Cool. Anything up in this cave? Any monstrosities? Well, it's a creeper. I wouldn't call that a monstrosity exactly. Bruise are pretty bad though. A little bit annoying. He's gone. Make the path in like they used to, apparently. That was that was pretty terrible pathing on that chupacabra's part. Not gonna lie. There was an attempt. Chupacabra meat, though. More coal. That's life crystals right there. That's fantastic. I will be taking that. Oh my goodness, the number of Geonites today. My goodness. It's actually out of control. I'm still not ready for the Geonox. Ever. Just, just ever. Oh, look, it's a creeper. How inconsequential. Let me so full. It's not the worst problem to have. Good job, me. Yeah, get rid of that light. Everybody hates lights. Do you want poison glands? Not really. Anything we combine? We can ditch the unlit torches in favor of a heart crystal shard. Any more? Nope. Okay. How much space we got for coal? Quite a bit. Getting all sorts of spooky cave sounds. Not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, there's definitely, definitely more monsters around here. Yeah, the inventory's full. All right. As far as these caves are, they kind of go up. So they're not exactly the best place to be looking for diamonds, really. Then again, we have diamonds everywhere, so. Everywhere can, can, can contain diamonds. Yay. 
We're also about to stop running. Turn on water. I could put down a water source. Or I could just keep walking. Twenty-seven and two-thirds levels is a little bit short of where I'd want to go try to use the wheat farms or anything, so. I'm gonna head back down into the mines to get that little little last sliver experience, I suppose. Anyways. Doubled the amount of diamonds we have available, which is always good. Heart push shine. That's three out of nine that we would need. Balls. Okay. There's some chicken. You can take a whole stack of iron ore to cook on up. Nether quartz, gold ore, chicken for days, stones of all kinds, or ender pearls, also good. Another one of these things. Someday we'll try to use some of these things. Not right now. Let's burn a little bit of time by sleeping here. Bonus health, too. I'm not going to complain. And one of the benefits of going this way is now, whenever I end up breaking through into my previous tunnel, it's actually going to be lit up this time, which is super convenient, I'll have you know. There's definitely a guy right there, what is he? A, a Lux Spectre, no thanks. No thanks on that. If I find some more... There's something really close by. Where are you? There he is. And this weird little offshoot that we didn't mind this redstone in for some reason. goes this far. I guess we were just searching for lava this time. Don't care about that. Don't want to deal with that problem right now. Yeah, it's correctly spaced at least. So, we got that going for us. Back to what we were doing. particles makes it really hard to tell if there's anything going on. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Some iron. There's more things spawned in my hallways. That's why we block them off. So they can't come attack us. That's just a good strategy right there. Thought there'd be more redstone there.
This is so much better than doing this with iron pickaxes. So much quicker. No Geonox this time? Be that way. That's a new one. Nothing good in the dirt. <laughs> hey. What do we have here? Just a wall of diamonds. You know what that calls for? Fortune 3. It calls for Fortune 3. A full 8 vein of diamond ore. You'll love to see it. And our Fortune 3 granted us 12. Very good. That will... That will be very good. That's very much what we were looking for. there. Just have to find like a few more things to get up to level 30. The inventory is full of rocks, as one might expect. We got all kinds of rocks. It's the rockiest. Plus all these rocks. Ooh. Another heart crystal shard. And another heart crystal shard. Any of y'all got any more of those mm, hard crystal shards? Nope. That's okay. Now we're here again. I can do a little more exploring here. Oh. Mine is cool, at least. Chupacabra. And that is a level 30. Fantastic. This is working pretty well. Working pretty well. Have a nice chicken dinner while climbing up a ladder, as you do. Alright. I believe the next thing we were enchanting was our shovel. Not that we dig very much, but it's a plus. Be surprised about that. Cover meat, stone, and dirt. Wait, our second stone chest is almost full. Fantastic. 
Just what we want to see. No, wait, the opposite of that. And this chest is full. Okay, stones, guess where you get to go? The second stone chest. It's a very stopgap measure since this chest is almost full. Anyways. Five out of nine for the next heart crystal thing. 26 diamonds. And to enchant this diamond shovel. We're gonna need Bacchus for that. Efficiency four, diamond shovel. With tunneling one. Hmm, what's that do? Let's you move blocks. Tunneling lets you more blocks at once. <laughs> I think we're missing one. Enchantment tunneling lets you more blocks at once. Mine more blocks at once, maybe? Is that what you're trying to say? Actually want that. It's kind of annoying. It's making my shovel work in ways I wasn't expecting. So if I attack here, it makes a star shape. If I attack from above, everything's a star shape. And also, we're glitched inside a block. That's good. I don't know if I like that. I think that's gonna be worse than not having that. Honestly. Yikes. Not a fan. Not a fan of tunneling. Just, just... It would it'd be one thing if it made like a 2x2 two two square in front of you. But making it... Digging a block below the level you're mining on? That's just kind of annoying. Honestly, even if it is efficiency four, if it makes moving around more difficult, that's really not very efficient, now is it? So unfortunately, we're going to be looking into getting a new diamond shovel. Honestly, I'm probably just going to ditch the, you know, probably just gonna ditch this one. Since it's just going to be more annoying than it's worth. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. If, if we're ever doing a very specific thing where we need to dig up a whole bunch of grass at the same time. I guess. But as it stands, no thanks. Not too excited about it. Okay. So we have the diamond shovel. Diamond axe. Legs, crossbow, and a book. We got extra these things. Okay. What do we have next? Efficiency for diamond shovel again. So, another opportunity to get a shovel that actually works for me. Penetrating edge. Uh, there's so many things with edge on them. Adversaries with high armor will take extra damage. I mean, that's not bad. I don't really use the axe for combat, though, so. Burning shield? No. Advanced thorns? Nah. Advanced blast protection? Nope. Power four. That's not bad. I wouldn't be mad about that. And blast one. Eh. And silk touch. Ooh. Do I need silk touch for anything? I wouldn't be mad about having a silk touch pickaxe. That's not... I, I'll take that. That sounds like it could be good. We're gonna go with a silk touch pickaxe. That's exciting. And 
This is the diamond shovel that can go further. That's that's okay. So which one of these pickaxes is more of a silk touch on? This one, I guess. Would smelting and silk touch conflict? I'm not sure. Back in the mines. Interesting that it prioritizes picking up rocks over putting down a torch. Personally, I would rather have there be light first. But whatever. I'm hearing lava nearby. That's slightly concerning. There's everything right here. We got coal, we got iron, we got gold, we got redstone. What an interesting little spot. Oh yeah, there's lava. There's lava for days right here. Oh, there's a lava boy right over there. Just a big old lava boy. Jack energy has manifested something. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I want to find out what that means. What even is that over there? Knowledge rank two of Sefingness. The what now? Oh my god, it's a Hulk. What a fiery, fiery, fire guy. Oh, there's a Scarlet Zephyrin over there. He's dead now. He was just dying in that wall the entire time. Scarlet effort level 5, ooh. That's pretty high level fire, guys. This is an interesting place. Very, very lava -y, that's for sure. Another one of you, huh? going. Oh, we killed him one hit. What a noob. Geonox, if you're not going to go out there, could you please get out of the way? Go. Get out of here. You guys are not very helpful, you know that?
Oh, there's a specter over there. Those are the worst. I can never get them to spawn where I want them to spawn. It's pretty annoying, actually. Man, this crossbow is not too bad. Welcome to the party, Geonox. And this is all at diamond level, too, so. This is not a bad place to be. Well, it's kind of a bad place to be. Well, with all the level 5 monsters everywhere. I think we're okay. Okay ish. We got level 30 anyway. He is, he is right down there. Don't know if I want to deal with anybody that's level 5, honestly. That's a little bit high level for me. We've seen some absolute units of guys. I don't even know if they've been level 5. But the crossbow seems to be doing very nice. Diamond strengthened crossbow bolt. Guess it's just loaded with a regular bolt. Oh, we went too far. This is where we want to be. And we got more rocks. Can never have too many rocks. These kinds of rocks. Those kinds of rocks. We got slime balls. We got blaze rods. More blaze rods is very nice. I'll take that. Ooh, magma cream. Ooh, that, that's just that's just straight up, straight up the item that we need to make those potions. Fire resistance potions. And there's Zephyr's spine. And the quartz. Gold ore. Rock. Iron ore. Coal. Burnt out torches. Alright, let's enchant a book. Wonder what else we're gonna get on here. Because we could get other things. Silk touch and. Just silk touch. That's okay. Okay. So we have a silk touch book. In case we ever want to. Make a silk touch pickaxe. I don't think I would want silk touch. I wouldn't really care about efficiency with silk touch, so. Try to slam that on here. See how much that would cost. Looks like it looks like silk touch conflicts with smelter. So that's not an option, in fact. It's also going to conflict with fortune. So the only one we could put it on is this one. Mm. But I don't really want silk touch all the time. So we'll just say that. If ever the need arises for silk touch, we've got that in our options now, which is always nice. It's good to have options. All right, what are we going to do for our next enchantment? Natural blocking two, so we can get that to natural blocking three. I wouldn't be mad about that. Burning thorns, nah. Advanced blast protection, no thanks. Infinity on the crossbow, already have infinity. Combat veterancy one, what? Combat. Combat veterancy. Amplifies the healing rate of the user. This includes instant healing effects like instant health potions. Hmm? You don't normally heal, I don't think, so. 
That's not very useful. Protection three. Yeah, that's that's okay. Critical strike. Versatility. Okay. We're gonna be going for natural blocking two again on the shield. Combine it with this shield to get natural blocking three. Let's, let's just make sure that's a thing. Yep. Blocks, damage taken. Sounds good to me. And after that, I don't know if we're going to really have anything else we want on the shield. I don't know what, what options are available for a shield. I guess unbreaking wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Getting some free unbreaking on stuff is always a good idea. Okay. All the crazy stuff. Is it late winter yet? Yes. Is it cold still? Probably. Spooky, scary skeleton. Ooh, we got a wither skeleton skull. Now that's interesting. Very interesting. What can we do with that? I know we can make a summon a wither if we had three of them. We only have one, probably. And we got a potion ring for that. My goodness. Now that's some good stuff right there. Wither skeleton. What can you make with a wither skeleton skull? We can get obsidian skull, grants immunity to burning and 50% resistance to fire damage. Does not protect against lava. Well, 50% resistance to fire damage really is not too big of a deal when you can just make yourself fire resistance potions, so. Wrath pendant plus two damage. Sinful buff plus damage plus armor after you deal a critical hit. Oh. Well, maybe it's plus two damage, and then gives that buff after you deal a critical hit. An, an additional buff to damage and armor, maybe? I have to look into that. A sin pendant. Wither arrows, wither ring. That's spectral silt to make the sin pendant. Then the sin pendant can make a gluttony pendant. Eat faster. Plus damage and armor while at full health. The golden crown. You know, you can just make that. Just you know, ruby. That. And you can break down a sin pendant for one spectral cell. I mean, plus two damage isn't nothing. What's our current weapon? 8.5 attack damage and sharpness 4. So. Plus two damage, that's not that's not nothing. And we have a slot we have a slot open for that. We could make that. But might want to save that for a Wither fight. Either way, that's kind of a treasure item. And this potion ring could be useful. What else can we do with a potion ring? Okay, potion ring. Speed, jump boost, haste, strength, regeneration, and resistance. We already have the two resistance. So, I might be interested in swapping out potion ring resistance for a ring of generation, but. Eh. Both are good. A lot of good stuff. We got 25 diamonds. We got a slip touch book. A shovel we don't really like. A oh, wither skeleton skull. Very interesting. Go move some of this stuff. Over here. 
So we already have one nether star. That's okay. Interesting. I suppose we will test out if late winter is warm enough for me to do anything. Next time. Goodbye.